Derek Aminor, fifth year, electrical and computer engineering, specializing in power. I'm from the, I went to high school in the Cleveland area, South Euclid, Ohio, but I was also, I'm originally from Ghana. Like I moved to America in 2001. My parents always said I've wanted to be an engineer since I was the age of four, actually. This was because uh, my uncle was a structural engineer in Ghana and I, I admired him. And I always, I always thought he had the coolest job on earth, so I always told everyone that I want to be an engineer. And as I went through school, I, I realized I was good at math and science, and I, and I also enjoyed it. So I kept you know, trying hard in, in those classes. And w when I went to high school, I, I did first robotics. And on my first robotics team, I realized that I enjoyed the electrical components of the robot a lot more. So when, I, when, I, when it was time to choose a major in college, I decided I want to do electrical engineering. When we moved to Ohio, there really, I started, that's right when I started watching football and getting into American football. And I really, I remember watching the 2002 National Championship game and just becoming the biggest, really love, I really enjoyed watching that game. And the next morning, my dad had an Ohio State t-shirt on the table for me. And that really got me excited about Ohio State and just sports in general. Well, I always knew I wanted to do engineering, so once I started looking for schools, Ohio State was one of my options. And after visiting here and you know taking a lot of campus tours, talking to faculty and current students, I realized that this was the place for me. I think the EC program gives you a lot of great opportunities once you graduate. It, it's very uh, intensive, so once you graduate, I think, when, when people see that you have an EC degree from Ohio State, it's greatly respected. And it also allows you to do a lot of different things, uh, go in a lot of different industries. And we, I know people that go to law school, people that become doctors. So it all depends on once you get that EC degree, you can choose to stay within electrical engineering or you can branch out and do a lot of great things. So I'm a chapter president of the National Society of Black Engineers and also the treasurer for RISE ECE. NSBE is a, a student-run organization, actually one of the largest student-run organizations, and we have a pretty large chapter here at uh, Ohio State. And basically our mission is to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. So that we do a lot of activities through, uh, along the lines of academic excellence, uh, giving back to so a lot of volunteering, you know, working with, you know, younger kids, making sure we mentor freshmen that are here and also people, students that are in our pipeline, in, even in elementary school. We try to mentor them so that we can increase the number of underrepresented minorities in the STEM fields. I think the advice that I would give to new students is that try to create, uh, build a very strong network of not only your, your classmates, but also professors and technical professionals. So within the EC department, there are a lot of opportunities to network with obviously professors, but also uh, alumni that have graduated and come back to speak to EC students.